Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Today I am going to talk about how conscious agents uh, develop into various kinds of systems or you can say bodies. How it develops uh, the body. Uh, the other day I was uh, going through uh, one article and in that article uh, they were saying uh, the whole galaxy or there are multiple galaxies although and all the galaxies have also been developed by these conscious agents or you can say jivatmas conscious agents are equivalent to jivatmas right jivatma is the equivalent word okay uh, for the conscious agents so the whole galaxy has also been developed with these conscious agents means one conscious agent is responsible for the development of the whole galaxy right and in the galaxies again there are other systems okay and in those systems also okay there must be some conscious agents right so the whole galaxy has a center okay and that center is the conscious agent means uh, in the experience of uh, that conscious agent the whole galaxy exists. Now, in this connection, uh, I want to clarify how these conscious agents, how the Jivatmas uh, develops into the various types of bodies. You can observe various types of bodies around you. There are plants, there are animals, there are people and in people also, human beings also, there are various types of human beings right each and every human being is unique in itself in the same in the same way each and every plant is unique in itself okay so everything is unique in itself it means what it means there are uncountable multiple jivatmas all around okay and each conscious agent developed its own body now the point i want to make is how these jivatmas how these conscious agents make bodies okay what are what are the grounds on which they take on a particular type of body suppose i am speaking in front of you so i am also a conscious agent and i develop this body Okay. Similarly, Saramaji has developed this body. Okay. You have developed your own body. Okay. So, we are all different. So, how a conscious agent, how a Jivatma develops a particular type of body? Okay. Why, why not similar, exact bodies? Right? You see, the first thing is, each and every conscious agent is different. Okay. Because, there there is difference in their energy configuration energy of consciousness right so due to the running of the energy of consciousness okay around the material or around the prakriti okay it generates or it produces various types of jivatmas because they have all the jivatmas have got a particular a specific configuration of their energy okay so this is the first difference <coughs> in jivatmas or in conscious agents first difference now then similar types of jivatmas similar in the sense not exactly similar okay but uh, like jivatmas of human beings jivatmas of plants and animals okay they can live together okay so they are located okay at one place other types of jivatmas are located somewhere else so their locations are different okay now this is the first uh, differentiation okay among the jivatmas okay then we segregate all the jivatmas okay means uh, segregation on the basis of type okay one type of jivatmas right now when jivatma a particular jivatma interacts with other jivatmas because because they are they are all located at one place when they interact with each other 
ओके इट इज कॉल्ड रिलेशनशिप और संबंध एंड संस्कार ओके सो ड्यू टू दिस संबंध एंड संस्कार ओके वॉट दे डेवलप दे डेवलप एक्सपीरियंस ओके नाउ ईच एंड एवरी जीवात्मा और कॉन्शियस एजेंट हैज गॉट ए स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिस आई हैव गॉट डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस ओके शर्मा जी हैज गॉट डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिस यू हैव गॉट डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिस ओके इट इज कॉल्ड संस्कार राइट सो संस्कार एंड संबंध रिलेशनशिप एंड एक्यूमुलेशन और कंडीशनिंग आर डिफरेंट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी जीवात्मा और कॉन्शियस एजेंट्स एंड दिस इज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच वी डेवलप अ डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ सिस्टम राइट इफ आई हैव ए स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ कंडीशनिंग द कंडीशनिंग इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप अ ह्यूमन बॉडी देन आई विल डेवलप अ ह्यूमन बॉडी इफ देर इज अ जीवात्मा इट हैज ऑल द एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ एन एनिमल or the animal instincts okay then it will develop into an animal body okay so both has got body right but their bodies attributes of their bodies are quite different okay why because there is difference in their set of experiences accumulations are different okay and just as we develop this body this uh, conscious agent develops uh, body a particular body depending upon a particular set of relationship and accumulations samand and sanskar or experiences okay so uh, the same case uh, is there when i mean in in our normal life okay we develop our own family okay now what do we require in order to develop our own prosperity our own family okay we need money right we need money for our upbringing we need money uh, to make family we need money for our marriage for children okay dear and all the rest of it okay and whatever you know uh, things we need okay so we need money for all those things okay and we set up a rich family right so this setup is different from different different people okay uh the person who has got less money okay i mean there will not there will not be development right or they will be less developed okay right so in the same way each and every conscious agents or jivatmas okay they have got different set of experiences okay and on those experiences they develop into a particular type of body okay if i have enough money okay right much more money as compared to other people okay i will develop my house okay in a big bungalow right and uh, the other person who has got very very less money or no money okay he will be living on footpath right similarly the same thing happens with the jivatmas also okay for money they have got experiences relationship okay so experiences and relationship are the money for the development of their bodies now when i talk about body there are three types of bodies okay you must be knowing the three type of bodies the physical body the subtle body and the causal body okay in hindi you can say the karan sharir sukshma sharir or bhautik sharir so be it causal body or subtle body or physical body okay it all depends upon the experiences right so our experience okay what makes uh, our experiences makes the subtle body on the basis of subtle body physical body is created right and our causal body is almost same similar okay just a little difference the difference of the configuration of their energies right so if there are two conscious agents take for example two conscious agents or two jivatmas okay so energetically they will be different means their causal bodies are different then these two jivatmas or conscious agents they will have different set of experiences different accumulations different relationships okay 
Now difference is there, okay, with respect to their experiences. Now these experiences makes their subtle body, right? And on the basis of these experiences or subtle body, okay, it will develop into the physical body, right? Take for example the body of an animal or body of a dog and body of a human being, right? Our physical body are different. Why? Because our subtle body are different. Subtle body are different. Okay. An animal has got different set of experiences. Okay. We have got a different set of experiences. Okay. Our causal bodies are also different, but not much difference. Okay. The difference uh, lies only in the configuration of their energies. Okay. They are of different energy. We are of different type of energy. Okay. So this qualitative change of energy is what makes the causal body. Okay. So these three types of systems, okay, corresponds to three types of bodies, right? So in this way, you can understand how each and every Jivatmas, each and every conscious agents take different set of bodies. Okay. Now, nowadays, uh, scientists are talking about conscious agents. And they are saying the whole creation is happening due to these conscious agents and not only due to these conscious agents but uh, the relationship and experiences of these conscious agents are what is making or what is creating this whole creation okay be it the whole galaxy planet okay a human being plant the whole environment space and time okay they are nothing but a reflection of the relationship and accumulation of all these conscious agents right so this is what I wanted to clarify okay about how the conscious agents and how the Jivatmas develop into different types of body okay so if you uh, stick to this uh, these principles of yogic science in order to understand the whole creation okay you will get to understand uh, I mean to to greater extent how uh, this whole cosmos okay come into existence okay due to these conscious agents and mind you one thing one conscious agent actually uh, actually it is the one okay with the uh, you can say uh, with the original uh, jivatma or what is original jivatma it is only one right okay but uh, due to the influence okay it appears that okay there are multiple jivatmas right and due to these multiple jivatmas there are multiple types of creations or you can say systems right as uh, i had explained in the previous episode also uh, the whole cosmos or the whole universe is imaginary okay on the same basis okay At, in actuality there is only one system the system of three okay but in its imagination in its influence okay there are multiple jivatmas and due to these multiple jivatmas okay there are multiple types of systems of creation hopefully you must have understood and if you did not understand then I would I would appeal to you that you uh, watch this uh, uh, episode over and over again if there is any query okay or anything you don't understand please uh, comment okay in the comment box okay so that uh, we can get to know uh, what is the difficulty in your understanding and we can clarify on that thank you very much